Did you see uh, Shannon Sharp and um, Amanda, Seals? Amanda Seals? So good. I mean, okay, so for the past, I don't think it was good. It was horrible. Well, not on his Shannon part. Sharp is a horrible yeah, he's interviewer. Bad. But Amanda Seals, she's so smart. She's so good. So I'm late to this, but apparently there was this like you were telling me about this like people on this like I hate Amanda thing, like Essence magazine, like all these people put out these like articles about Amanda Seals talking about she's a bad person. Everyone hates working with her. No one likes Amanda Seals. Like it was a rain on Amanda Seals thing. She has beef with Issa Rae. You, so you watch the whole thing. First of all, every Shannon Sharp interview is a is a is a four day watch. Why are your interviews three hours long? <laughs> Someone on your team needs to learn how to edit these down to one hour. But I mean, to their point, they're making they have millions of views, so they're doing something right. But I wonder how long. What is the drop off rate? Right. Because I have had to come. I mean, I'm I'm watching it, but like I've lit, I'm literally on day four. <laughs> Of trying to watch this interview, and I think I still have like thirty minutes left in it. Yeah, I she w- just she just finished talking about Issa Rae. Girl, the Issa Rae. Okay, we got Bob. Okay, and I see some of y'all applying some pressure, and it's, it's not Bob. It's me too. I'm busy stuff, but we are going to do sibling pop culture. The more that y'all tell us we need to do it, we will do pop culture. But um, yeah, I, I it, it's 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 pretty scathing. But Amanda Seals was she 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 laid because I remember when that Emmy sting happened. Like I remember reading about it and seeing it on. I don't think it was in TikTok. Yeah, me too. But like, and now she explained why the whole thing happened. Imagine Kennedy didn't like me, and I'm trying to go to come to an event. And they're, they're, uh, for for Bob's new sack, uh, uh, Bob's sack party. At it'd, be, it'd be different than Kennedy. It'd be like if jo- if if maybe Shannon, my old publicist or my current publicist, Josh didn't like it. Right. And yeah. and so I'm trying to get to an event. I'm like, can I go in? And they're like, okay, you can go in, Patty. You can go in. You can go in, um, Domino. Mona, you can't come in. Why? So you don't know. What happened was Amanda Seals went to the Emmy, to Emmy party, the Black, the Black Emmy, Emmy party. party. Yeah. Um, and then Issa Rae's publicist told her that, Issa Rae's publicist put her on the do not allow list. Not not just like on the – it's not that she's not on the list. She's on a different <laughs> list of people who are not allowed to come in. That's wild. I need to be clear about that. And then when it all boiled down, Shannon uh, – not Shannon. Um, uh, Amanda was thrown out of the party. Crazy. Physically assaulted. Uh, uh, four giant men. One of them bumped her with his, with his body, with his chest. Um, four men took her, escorted her out of the party. Um, and then the call, the next, the call after it was all said and done, uh, the woman who the publicist was like, it's Melissa because I don't like something. you. She was like, I didn't let you in because I don't like you. Crazy. But then now people are saying, oh, it's really because East, I, mean, I don't, I do not know this. It's, I'm just it's what, reading in the shade room and all different on Twitter and TikTok and stuff. People are saying it's because Issa Rae doesn't like Amanda Seals, but who knows if that's true. And then Issa Rae and Amanda Seals try to have a conversation because Amanda Seals came at Issa with this information and Issa was like, y'all need to figure that out. Like that's between y'all. So can I play devil's advocate for a little bit? Go ahead. So you think because I don't like you isn't a good reason. Uh, because because I don't like it is not a good reason. I mean, if, I'm asking, is that a good enough reason? Is it a good reason? Like, to, 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 the, 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 the long answer is any reason why you don't want somebody to do something, it's good. Be, it's because you're too tall, because I don't like you, because you cut your hair. Like, that's for you, that's your reason, that's fine. For me, I'm like, not in a professional setting. Like, this is not about you. It's not your party. If it was your party, if, if, if this was Bob the Drag Queen's party and Monet, I don't want you to come because I don't like you. That is a very valid reason. That's that's great for you. But it's just a, this is a commercial public thing that has nothing to do with you. You're the f-ing publicist because you don't like me is not a reason. No. I was just wondering because the second go because I can was like a perfect reason. So I'm just well. I mean, there are there are nuances there in context of why that why oh. because I don't like you is a reason. Um, but if she but if she would have said because I can, that would have been a good reason. Yeah. But because I if, like you, if, because if I don't it was like her you. Party, but it's not her party. So well, no. I mean, Obviously, obviously, she had some cloud at the party. Clearly, this publicist had some cloud at the party because she got her thrown out of the but party. But now people so are like, people are like, oh, but 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 is it really Issa Rae not like Amanda Seals? Which is why. Do you? I mean, again, I don't know this. Let me say, I don't know. I don't, I don't know Issa Rae. I, I I mean, I know Amanda Seals a little bit. Yeah. Um, when I Bob say, and I, I work, did Amanda Seals, show. I work with Amanda Seals. She has been lovely, amazing, so sweet. Bob and I, y'all, y'all know, we did her Smart, Funny, and Black show virtual because it was pandemic time, so we couldn't be in person. That was amazing. And then we also did her podcast as well, which was a really good time. Um, I used to listen to podcasts a lot back in the Dizzy. I, I, I tune in here and there. Like, she recently had an episode with T.S. Madison that was really good. Um, and, um, yeah, so I have loved... And I, I went to her I went to her, her stand-up show at Hollywood Improv. When was that? 
I went with Day, I don't know, maybe like January or February. And um, so Day and I went together. And as I was coming in, she was setting up with her assistant and she was like, really? And I like went up and I tapped. I was like, hey. She's like, oh my God, hey. And what? What? I'm on the 31st floor and it sounds like someone's, it sounds like someone's knocking on my window. <laughs> it's a man to see. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about it, but I'm like, it sounds like there's someone at my window. But Amanda Seals has been perfectly kind and perfectly sweet to so all this Amanda Seals hate. I don't understand. That's never been my experience where she's always been very sweet. And she's a big ad- ad- advocate for the black community. Amanda Seals speaks very fervently, very wholeheartedly, ten toes down about everything about black advancement and blackness. And is always lovely to me. So that's all, always been my experiences. 